How's everybody doing Sunday Bible study? Saturday Bible study was just written out on Facebook. And um, if you want to know what Saturday Bible study was, um, Is this one? God created this mess, quote unquote. Why? Because the everybody can see the world is a mess. So why did God create it? So if you're a Facebook follower, which is what the daily Bible studies are, um, you want to read that thoroughly. And. Um, just basically goes through it's very long i said i would also do it on youtube and i'm like there's no reason to you can just go read it in the comments it's very important to go to the comments these all tie into bible verses So I tied it all in with the Bible and so So just make sure that you read it and then go down to the comments and study it. Oh my goodness. What is her real name? It's not Faith, it's... Um... Ah! I forgot faith <laughs> anyway use it or lose it i haven't spoke to you in a while on the youtube so so anyway interesting Facebook is giving me notifications of people I've unfollowed and then I've just clicked uh, turn off notifications for this post that somebody made. But for some reason, I was alerted to the post and just got another notification for it. So I don't know. Facebook's kind of a ripoff. Go figure. So let's get into uh, Sunday Bible study. Sorry about all that. And I want to read all of this in the New Living. I've done this study a bunch. I know it. Uh, so anything that's lost in translation of New Living, we will fix. Then he said, don't be afraid, Daniel, since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before your God. Your request has been heard in heaven. I have come in to answer your prayer, but for the 21 days, the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia blocked my way. Then Michael, one of the archangels, came to help me, and I left him there with the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia. Now I am here to explain what will happen to your people in the future, for this vision concerns a time yet to come. While he was speaking to me, I looked down at the ground, unable to say a word. Then one who looked like a man touched my lips. And I, and I opened my mouth, began to speak, and I said to the one standing in front of me, I am filled with anguish because of the vision I have seen, my Lord, and I'm very weak. How can someone like me, your servant, talk to you, my Lord? My strength is gone, and I can hardly breathe. Then one who looked like a man touched me again, and I felt my strength returning. Don't be afraid, he said. You are very precious to God. Peace, be encouraged, be strong. As he spoke these words to me, I suddenly felt stronger and said to him, Please speak to me, my Lord, for you have strengthened me. And we will. And again, uh, his vision was, a, he did see Jesus in his vision, but then it was the angel that spoke to him. In the previous days uh, verse and I think that's more of what you're seeing here 
Um, I'm not sure if that's Jesus that came and gave him strength to be able to speak to the angel, or it was the angel that touched him. Um, it's it's a lot to follow. And I apologize for not um, taking the time to break that down. Because in the previous study, he, he there were two different entities going back and forth. So you have to keep track of that. And that's what's difficult. When he had spoken such words to me, he's talking about the angel that had just spoke to him. And then it looks like Jesus came and touched him. It looks, yeah, it looks like Jesus came and strengthened him. So there's a lot going on there. It's, it's, it's a little difficult, but there's, from everything I see, there's two entities in play. There is Jesus or the Holy Spirit. And there is, oh, excuse me, um, an angel. All right, let's move on to Luke. And saying, if thou be king of the Jews, save yourself. And a subscription was also written over him in the letters of the Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the male factors which were changed railed on him, excuse me, which were hanged, railed on him saying, if thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him saying, dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me, when thou comest into thy kingdom. And people, excuse me, people will use this to say you don't have to be water baptized to be saved. Well, no, because a water baptism was for the old proselyte Jews. This has nothing to do. To be baptized now is to be baptized with the Holy Spirit in fire. That's what John said, right? I forgot to put my microphone in a box. Hopefully you hear me a little better now. And Jesus said unto him, Verily unto thee, today shalt thou shalt be with me in paradise. So obviously he just got baptized by the Holy Spirit in fire, and he was going through his fiery trials while he's laying on the cross. And the Holy Spirit came in to him. And there are other passages in the gospel that speak of how both men uh, uh, spoke poorly, well, until he got baptized. So... And then what you see in this one is the new hymn. So it's very, um, maybe difficult for some to explain, but that's basically it. Because in one of the gospels, it says both of them uh, spoke poorly to Jesus. If I could find it real quick, I'll do it. Both men on the cross speak poorly to Jesus. A good way to search it. The two men uh, crucified next to Jesus were different. Did both revile Christ?
Uh, it's Matthew 27, John 19. I don't see either man speaking here. The thieves also, which were crucified with him, cast the same in his teeth. So that one there says they both did, spoke against him. Well, you figure they're both speaking against him. They're all three still alive. Then the Holy Spirit comes into one of them. Then he stops, tells the other one to shut up. That's basically all it is. So... They're different accounts of the same situation. And where were we? Okay. Today shall thou shalt be with me in paradise. It was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness all over the earth until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, saying, Father, into thy hands I commend. I commend my spirit. Having said this, he gave up his ghost. And when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, certainly this was a righteous man. And all the people that came together to that site, beholding the things which were done, smote their breast and returned. All right. Love y'all very much. Any questions, just ask. <laughs>